Hello Misfits, I'm Georgie the Glamorous Game Misfit, and we're now playing Martian Gothic Unification for PlayStation 1. So, I only heard about this a couple of years ago. This 2001 came out, said according to that menu. This is Kenzo Uji, Enigma Mission Log. Luckily subtitles, so I can chat away. So, I mean, you could already guess, there's pre-ordered backgrounds, third person, Models, I mean, you couldn't really do first person for your backgrounds. Maybe a point and click, like mist, but. Fire broke out on landing. Well, if, well, if you'd call mist a point and click. But yeah, this is Survival Horror. I mean, if you ask anyone, name some Survival Horrors on PlayStation 1. You know, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, might say Dino Crisis. And, um, yeah, no one would ever say this. I mean, that music on Task was really good, though. And it was really decent looking. It's a high resolution, maybe. I mean, the, the sharp looking text, those good backgrounds. Maybe not the finest voice acting in the world, but they're all unique voices you won't have heard before. And I will put that over anything. Don't want to hear the same squeaky Americans. Well, you know, that's a horrible thing to say, but I mean, sort of, you know, anime. You hear the same. You hear one person's voice. You've heard them all. So it's going through three characters because we play as all three of them. Now I haven't completed this. I've got what I feel is pretty far. For the reason, um, this is really high up my list of games to play properly. Ah, oh, the Vita base. Poor Vita. I, I love my Vita. So three characters, but they're not allowed to meet, and something will happen if they meet. So that alone has got me intrigued what's going to happen. So my first thought is, I mean, all three of them are stuck on this Mars base. But are they all trapped at the same time? You can kind of indirectly interact with each other by leaving items and places and doing things. And even when they talk to each other, you don't know whether it's just like recordings going through time or something like that. So I, I really want to know if there's a twist, like they're not all alive or they're not all playing together. Or maybe two, or maybe only one of them's real. Oh, here we go, we're playing. So buttons are kind of Resident Evil. Not quite. Squares kick. we got a little way, ways before we actually find a monster. So, top right, there is a magnifying glass to help us when you can interact with something. And in top left it tells you what to do. Clearly a PC game first. But, not going to moan at all. I saw some footage of the PC one. Yeah, it definitely wins a little bit graphically. But, we it's not too bad. That locker is empty. So a lot of the puzzles are, at least later on, sort of switching between characters and knowing who to switch between. Possible hostile environment. First group, contact your fellow mission members. Okay, we can't do that yet. Let's is start our menu. Here we go. What have we got? This thing tells more than the time. Yes, it does. We've got a letter. That's a personal letter. Nope, no, he's not telling us anything. Rapper from an old maid country cottage candy bar. <laughs> I think uh what's left, but I'm not that kind of guy. I think a lot of items are useless. I can't imagine being a use. My lucky silver bullet. I wonder if there are any more. Yeah, see Martian Wells that examine the radio. I'll I'll go we'll skip a little bit of text here and there, but not too much. I mean, they could be talking to each other, but the conversation just feel disjointed enough for it to be sort of recordings. I mean, they're, they're replying then, but you didn't. we didn't see them. So from his point of view, they could be alive right now. But as we, each character could be living a different time period. Or, I mean, I could just be overcomplicated, it might not be anything like that. They could just be three people, but 
I definitely think there's something interesting going on. Yeah, uh, you can see that place is one texture, clear texture, but I like that effect. It looks good. Decontamination sequence completed. All computer voices sound the same. Yeah, see that line. Maybe this, maybe this is the start of something. Like as it turned out, this very f early stacked in the game caused the big problem. What's he gonna do? He's talking quite quickly. Hmm, I. I'll keep, stick with my idea. Let's go to character number two. Also in another airlock. No, nothing, nothing in there. And we've got another storage locker. Aha, a gun. The piccolo. Let's see. Oh, we can place things in locker. So we'll get out of here. So R1. You're not. I'm not holding the button. You just tap it to go from change between mode. Can I still kick? Oh, I can still kick. Okay. What has she got? Watch and physiological and psychological monitoring instrument. So one of the things I noticed when I was playing this is that different characters do use items differently. After months in space, that's the last one. I and they comment, so you can swap things around, and each person will comment on it differently, or will use it in a different way. One so it's definitely got some really good ideas. I'd be better off without it. But the company, I mean, Creative Reality, it's a familiar name, just can't think who though. I'm too retro for my own good. Yeah, a bit of a hipster thing to stay. I don't know what's supposed to be. Maybe makeups. They don't use makeup in the future, so. A few friends back in London. Oh, look! Look at those developers. Look at the developer faces. And back in London, I think. Yeah, it's a British-made game. Got to be. Radio link with Khan and Kenzo. Okay. Can't use it right now, though. So, circles run. Oh, she's playing a sprint. We'll decontaminate all of them. Not sure what that'll do. If this was on PS4, it'd probably be a decontamination for everybody trophy. Let's, um, well, no, we. I, was about, I, I know this door, this door doesn't work either. Door nope, not quite. What's wrong with this bloody door? Oh, and she hears English, apparently. Slightly. No, we've got to go back to. Our final character. So his room, there's definitely different lighting going on in each of the rooms. Maybe different things are happening. Or you know, the, I'm, I, it's going to turn out I'm definitely reading far too much into it. But different, the base is in different state. So there's a fan in top right. Don't know if that's relevant. It need if it needed to be animated at all. So out the door, our third and final time to decontaminate. So this is very puzzly. This game definitely leans more to puzzles than Sun Hill Resident Evil. And I think most of the enemies uh, can happily run away from. So, see they've all made a comment on it. I don't know if he just means he didn't like it, he found it uncomfortable, or he is a legit concern. So let's look at the map. We don't have um, sort of what you'd call an accurate map. 
So we got to work out just sort of roughly, you know, it's like the tube map kind of just represents it by the paths, but not as, it's not like really on a scale. So we came out of one of the airlocks, one of the A's. So do we have a path? I think I know where the one on the right, just beneath that rainbow symbol. So where can we go? We can go. Yeah, see, this fits the path. The base members nicknamed the quarters after famous streets. I think this is Madison Avenue. Oh, and some uh, Brit. I th well, actually, we say British spelling, but do Americans feel famous without the U? That seems unnecessary. Famous. Hmm, I'll look that one up. The bulkhead's sealed. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. So maybe this is our first main objective, get to the main computer. Uh, so when you stand still on left and right, you it just kind of just does 90 degree turns. Yeah, okay. Oh, we didn't check his items. We'll... So there's the door we came through, so this is our next option. Is anyone around? Anyone alive? Or dead? If you're dead, don't answer. Yeah, I, I don't don't think we need that kind of comment. So if this is going to say rainbow, rainbow key needed, there we go. The, we know where we are, we're the A on the right. So you can, you can work it out yourself. So what have we got? Retro digital watch and health monitoring device. So that's the control issue. that watch is what we're seeing on the very top of the screen right now, with the time and the health bar. It looks pretty fresh. Okay. He's got a photo. Let's see what developers are in this photo. I'm a long way from Tokyo. Oh, it's his garden, his house. What have we got? He's got booklet. Tips for video games. Totally useless. Totally useless. We got a radio. Reliable radio, but limited range. Okay then. So we've got the store, but we're going to find out. We're going to press that open button on the next episode. So, this is farewell. Farewell, but not forever. <laughs>